really, I, I get passionate about um, that this is not just about collecting data, but creating those new possibilities, that new access to vehicles. I don't have to wait in line anymore for my, to pick up my rental car. I just can use my app, I open the doors, and I can drive away. It becomes seamless. So that excites me, that it is not only about um, earning money, it's also making life easier for people, but also a better, a better world. Car companies realize that they can get anywhere between 15 to 20 data points from a volume car today, which in the future could be anywhere between 80 to 100 data points. When we looked at data monetization, we went through a process of understanding what are the data points coming out of car, what use cases can you develop from these data points, how can you monetize those use cases, what are the pricing models involved with those use cases, and then how can you position it in terms of a business model. Well, I think it's, you know, it's clear that every company needs data to, you know, to function as a business, to fuel their business processes. And uh, I think the car is actually one of the, the things that are last connected to the internet and, and connected at all with the parameters that are uh, collected from a car. And of course, the things you can do around the data that you collect, uh, the use cases are are numerous from insurance to parking to on-demand fueling to load balancing of electrical vehicle uh, uh, load balancing those kind of things so it's a, a huge market with huge uh, applications and opportunities we see three types of business models when it comes to data monetization we call it the three b's of data monetization which is bartering brokering or building insights in the past, car companies would normally broker data, so they would get data from a map co mapping company and give them some data in free. We've seen that evolve into more like a brokering model. So there are companies like Autonomo or Vejo who actually are buying data from car companies, from fleet companies, putting it all together and selling it to a wide variety of customers out there. You also see technology in the way uh, data can be aggregated, uh, generated and used to, to really optimize how businesses run themselves in a very fundamental way. We're seeing an evolution where these companies who are brokering data are actually becoming more of organization who are doing data analytics and building business intelligence and selling that business and, and intelligence and analytics to customers. So we're seeing these fleet companies buying this data and optimizing their fleet operations, doing driver training, and also reducing the total cost of ownership by leveraging this data. Speaking of monetization, I think uh, platform uh, and, and thinking of like breaking the silos is key in, uh, in transforming the economics. Uh, I think that this is a value chain and they are collecting the data. Uh, it's one thing. Connectivity is another thing. Transforming the data is another thing. Operating the data is another thing. And, and this is the value chain. We think that uh, everyone has to contribute in this uh, and uh, that aggregating the services for consumers uh, is a way to, to, to bridge the gap also. Not only collecting the data, but aggregating the services for the consumers. We have found over 50 use cases of data monetization coming from cars. So these can be related to fleet management, it can be developing UBI cases, it can be around developing platforms for managing traffic in a smart city better. It's about providing location-based data to organizations, for example, for McDonald's, when they want to sell the next burger to a customer who's going to drive past them, and many other used cases. Data is expected to be 21st century oil. We are just touching the tip of the iceberg when it comes to monetizing that data. We don't even know what the use cases are. And as the car becomes more connected, more autonomous, hundreds of use cases will develop and we will monetize more than half of these in the future. The future is about monetizing data.